Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for stopping by. 2007 Toyota Corolla rear drums we're going to be doing. The jack is set up where there are two points right here, exactly where you lift the car up. And we're going to lift it through the back. We are first going to take off our lug nuts. If we have trouble taking our lug nuts off, we're going to use the breaker bar. Gently. Chalk the wheels. Set up for jack location where these two holes are at. Locate on the car center jack point that piece that sticks down or the chassis frame Lift the car after both wheels lug nuts are loose Carefully place in your jack Stands are located by tilting and locating the particular areas. Start to lower the car. And you're ready to take the tire off. Double check your chalk, your stand, and your jack. When working on your brakes, always make sure when you do your backs, one at a time. I do apologize way in advance for all the traffic noise and the quality of the video. If your wheel sticks, you may need to kick it with a rubber mallet. Or hit it with your hand and your hand will be hurting. Use the back of your foot gently. If all else fails, lower the car, put a nut on it, shake it a little, it'll come off. Since these tires are old, don't worry about my rim. I don't want to rush things, I want to take my time, make sure I do it right. So what I'm doing is I'm spraying this area around here, that it gives it a lubrication, allows this to come off. As you can see, if I tap this, all the rust and the dirt comes off, and this may just come off real easy. It is sliding off just like that. Unbelievable. The other one will come off real bad. And what I'm looking for is pad wear. These should be the brakes that will stop the car, and these will be the brakes for emergency. To do disc brakes, they are simple to do. To do drum pads, they are difficult to do. I am going to need cotlet pins, spring clips, and those I don't have. I do apologize if I'm not giving you a close-up shot. Here's a nice close-up shot. These are the braking pad. This is the cotlet pin. Spring. Cylinder. Lug nut, bolt, parking brake. This is the part for 2007 04495-02050. 04495-02050.
brand new brake sailed from Toyota selling for around 60 some odd dollars under 70 bucks at your store it may go a little higher it may go a little lower you're going to get your pad always make sure they match up to your car there are two types of pads that advanced auto zone sells they sell a USA make model which is larger and they sell a Japanese model that is made smaller this is the front the top and this is the way it goes over here for the pin you get some c-clips they're aluminum be careful they may break when you use them if this is the first time for me using a brake spring pliers these brake things are hard to uh, take off and especially to put on I recommend that you take a picture work on one and when you think you have everything put together don't test your brakes without putting back the drums this is my first time using this tool according to the instructions very simple to use down here there's supposed to be a spot cannot find it so this is what I'm after right here removing the spring by placing the tool in the back aligning it up and then squeezing the tool I'm going to show you the unconventional way and how long and tedious it is to do a drum break. I'm not a pro, so it's going to take me some time to do this. There are two holes here. I already removed this the last time and it came off very easy. Take some lubricant, spray it around this area. If you're having trouble, M8 millimeters, rotate in and the drum will come off. Protect everything around you. Take a look at the drum. Take the other side off and do not do the other side. You're going to use it as reference until you can complete one side. That is very important. When everything is all done, don't test your brakes out unless you've got your drums back on or everything's going to explode and you're going to be in trouble. Let's get started dismantling everything. Some of the tools you're going to need. One very important tool over the years. I never used one of these spring tools. I am slowly getting the hang of it. Very easy to take things off. This particular part I have no clue where it fits. It's supposed to Loosen things so you can take things out very easy. Not sure what this part is for. I know when you want to get a spring off, that side was easy because I was in the right predicament. You gain it underneath the spring and you pull off this way. The other side is going to be the opposite way. So this slope, this little hook is going to be upside down this particular time. And very easy to do things. Let's get started. One of the things we need to do is understand how to take this off without doing it the complicated way. You have a spring down here, a spring in the front, a spring in the back, and a fork gear kit, and this particular piece, and two cutler pins. All these pieces are going to come off. Please remember where everything is at. The back pin will be the first thing you're going to put on and most likely the last thing you're going to take off and the front spring is going to be the last spring you're going to put on and the first thing you're going to take off and then this bottom clip will be the second one and then followed by these cotler pins so let's take off this particular piece this clip is going to come loose so don't be afraid grab the pin, the piece behind here, 
squeeze and please make sure nothing is in the way like your hands so you can injure yourself or your eyes so just be careful you're going to squeeze and the clip comes off again and underneath and I am going to now adjust it as you can see the difficulty I am having it is off when you release so just grab him take a screwdriver start to spin him and the cutlet pins will come out I'm a lefty so I'll try it with my right hand And they come out. The worn out cotler pins due to the heat. The heat really destroys these pins. And you can see old versus new. I know the GoPro session has very bad uh, angles. You have to come real close. Well, when I take this off, you're going to notice that this won't come out. But like I said, this pin will come out. Place this to the side. Not the best way of doing things, right? Here you go. Here's the uh, fork, and then everything will come out. You got to get this little horseshoe off. These clips are not hard to take off, it just looks hard. Put on the same one. Just like so, with the new U-clip, squeeze, don't squeeze your hands, find the right tools, trying our best to put everything back on the way it came off. And this is going to be fun, so much fun, it's not going to be easy. So what we want to do is basically change this cutler pin out, get a spring, a little cap, try our best to line it up. put it on one of the main things is down here you want to make sure this brake pad goes behind the pieces so it locks into place. If it doesn't, everything is going to spring out at you. So now that we got one particular side, making sure we get the right spring. One of the springs does not have a angle. And this is the back spring, the first spring that goes on. And again, if you're unsure how things go, you take a look at the other side. Just line this up a little bit. Grab my shorter spring. Put it into the closer hole. Put it into the back hole. Now I'll line up my products. And the fork is not the easiest thing to put in, nor the hardest to put in. 
So if you did not uh, move this around, it should be okay. But you are going to spin it close so you can slide it into place. And then you're going to expand it. And that may be the hardest part for some. The next one is to put the bottom one on. The first closest hole, you try not to scrape the brake pad. You're going to try your best. So here I have, like I said, I got a, an inexpensive drum because the reason of the car is 150 plus thousands. No need for me to uh, get any better parts. Yeah, they will do its job. Clean it, you may never know what types of oils are on there. So while that is uh, there we go. As you now you can see everything adjusted we want to put our drums on. We want to take this off we want to give it some tightness. So now we're going to adjust the gear. Listen to the clicks. I am happy. Let's close it up. Beautiful car stops, give it some gas, and the ultimate test is a brake test. And we do stop. We are 100% completed.